Hey guys, what's going on? Megan here. I'm gonna try to keep this. God damn it, who's texting me? Okay, I'm gonna try to keep this video short. Um, so this is a study that I absolutely love. I've mentioned it in the past videos, but I'm gonna make a. I decided to make a video just for the study alone because a lot of people don't like to talk about this study because it actually exposes a lot of the bullshit in the fitness industry. Uh, the whole three sets of ten bullshit. You know, low volume, crappy programs that have people pretty much stall after their first two years of lifting. And this study. Uh, pretty much illustrates, you know, uh, the BS, right? Most people, especially, you know, if you've been training for a long time, are not doing enough volume. I've been saying this time and time and time again, you know, even in look, in, even in the nucleus of all the videos, volume. It's funny because by now everyone knows volume is the primary driver of hypertrophy, but you still have people disputing this fact, right? So let's look at this study, right? Um, it was done, of course, you guys know, I don't draw conclusions from just one study, right? I'm the science and bro science guy. I like combining overwhelming evidence from both the science, uh, realm and the bro science realm. So this is not just the only study on this topic. I'm going to make multiple videos on it if you wish. Uh, I just like picking this one because it's, it's, it's so, so crucial. So it was done by obviously Rod Alley back in 2015, 40 years subjects, untrained. Don't worry. There's another one that was also done on trained people. I don't know what you guys are thinking. Oh, they were untrained. In fact, there's a reason why I picked the untrained group because it's even worse when you're a trained uh, person. And it was a six month study, right? And pretty much they were doing full body workouts three times a week, right? And there was three groups. A well, group was doing one set per body part. Uh, the other group was doing three sets. Another group was doing five sets, right? So for triceps, it came out to 45 sets per week. Let me repeat that again. The, four, the, the five set group, they had 45 sets for triceps, right? Because they obviously did shoulder press, bench press, and triceps extension. And if you look at EMG studies or just in general, even if you go to the fucking gym, those are the movements that activate a lot of the tricep uh, muscle fibers, right? So they did 45 sets for the triceps. The three set group did a total of 27 sets for triceps at the end of the week. And obviously the one set group did, you know, nine sets total, right? And sure enough, Look at the results. Guys, look at the effect size, right, for the tricep group. Look at that. The group that did the most volume, the most work. Remember, muscles are pretty much evolved to do work, right? Look at that. And that's the red bars, right? You can see from nine set to, to uh, the nine set per week, 27 set per week, and a 45 set per week group. It is out of this world. Same thing for biceps, right? Look at the biceps. The biceps group did about... They did two exercises for biceps, so that, that came out to about uh, 30 sets, I believe. Uh, wait, let me see, two exercises, uh, five sets. Yeah, that came out to about 30 sets per week for biceps, right? Um, if you factor in the biceps curls and obviously the lat pull down, which studies have shown over and over again, you know, both activate the biceps to a great um, degree. Look at that, right? That nice those response relationship. And these are untrained guys. And you know, if you're a trained athlete or if you're trained, you've been training for a long time, you need more volume to grow. You need more weight, more volume, right? Progressive overload, right? So how many times, how many studies have to come out for people to understand that if you're stalling as a trained lifter, right? It's not necessarily because your genetics suck. It's not necessarily because you're what your programs are whatever. Most of the time it's because you're not doing enough volume. I look at most people, most of my clients. One of the first thing I ask them before we start is, show me your old routine, right? Because they're like, hey, Megan, I was stuck on this weight or this and that. I haven't put on size in like a year or this and that. You know, my lifts are going up, but obviously my size is extremely slow. And then I look at the programs and 95% of the time, they're doing bitch volume at the end of the week, right? Total weekly volume. And I tell them, guys, you got to increase your volume and try to increase your frequency because that's the best way to increase volume, right? You're not going to do 45 sets in one fucking day. That's not happening, right? You got to train biceps, triceps, shoulders, chest, back, quads, hamstrings, calves. It's almost impossible to accumulate that much volume, you know, in just one day, right? Which is why I recommend frequency training, you know, you know, um, uh, full body training so much because, Despite all the other benefits, you get to accumulate volume spread out throughout the week, right? 45 sets. And guys, keep in mind, right? I'm not saying this is for everybody. Obviously, some people respond to lower volumes. Some respond to higher volumes, right? But this is a, this is 48 subjects. You mean to tell me just all of the guys in the 45 set group just had the genetics for high volume? Hell fucking no, right? 
everyone responds to different volumes, but uh, at one point you have to figure out which group you're in. And how are you going to figure that out if you're constantly doing three sets of 10 fucking twice a week on your, you know, on your workout routine? You have to push the envelope so that you can actually see where your limit is. I can guarantee you most people, most people that are watching this video are not doing enough volume. Right? Increasing your volume. And keep in mind, oh, you know, there you go. If you guys watched my last video on Stronger Is Not Bigger, guess what? All of these guys, despite this group putting on way more muscle, all these guys put on significant amount of strength. Significant amount of strength. But guess what? The group that did the most volume put on way, way more muscle. Which again illustrates the points, guys. Yes, weight is important. Yes, strength is important. Yes, all the other variables are important, but volume, you cannot sleep on volume. You can get really fucking strong doing three sets of five twice a week. Really fucking strong. But you will not maximize your hypertrophy. This is a fact and this is not a theory, guys. You got to understand it. Volume is key. Right, and I, I'm I'm actually curious. I want to know what what would have happened if they actually picked a, a group that did slightly more volume. Because I actually want to see where this thing peaks. Because obviously you can't do volume forever, right? You're not gonna do fucking 500 sets a week and just expect to you know to keep fucking growing. We all know it's an inverted U shape, right? Eventually you get to a point where you're just not making gains anymore. But guess what? It's relative to the individual, and it's also relative to your ability to recover. Everyone is different. Some people live very stressful lifestyles. Some don't. Some people have optimal hydration and nutrition intake, right? Some people don't, right? So all of these factors obviously come into place. But you will not know your upper limit if you're stuck doing three sets of 10 twice a week for the rest of your fucking life. You need to increase your volume, guys. You need to increase your volume. Whether you're doing it through nucleus overload, whether you're doing it through just um, uh, frequency, you know, high-frequency training, you know, maybe two, three times a week, four times, I don't care. Make sure your total weekly volume is high enough. And obviously progress. Don't just watch the video and say, oh my God, I'm going to do 45 sets. No, obviously fucking progress, right? Progress, see, okay, if you were doing, let's say, five total sets, bump it up to seven. Eventually bump it up to nine, 10, 12. Bump it up until you see, see you know, where you start to stall. Right? And are we surprised by this study? Of course not. Look at athletes, right? Look at athletes. You know, if you watch the long ass nucleus of a little video, uh, that was like over an, you know an hour long where I explain every single example. Look at this. Do you really think athletes um, train their muscles, you know, with three, five, maybe ten sets a week? And again, I'm not talking about sets as far as in the gym, but I mean like the activity. For example, professional rowers, right? Professional, uh, I mean ballerinas and a calf. Do you think ballerinas, you know, have a total amount of let's say ten sets, you know, of uh, calf stimulation, calf volume per week? Fuck no, right? They're on that stuff constantly. Same thing with boxers and their shoulders. You think boxers with their big ass shoulders, you think that they they throw jabs and then when, when they get to like, I don't know, like fucking 10 sets in theory uh, per week, do you think they just stop? Like, oh yeah, that's it. That's enough volume for me. Fuck no. You got to accumulate volume. Hmm? Same thing with speed skaters and their quads, cyclists, all that stuff, guys. But yeah, this study, and again, it, it's not the only study. I'm not dumb. I'm, I don't draw conclusions from just one study. It's just more and more of these are coming out. Uh, there was one from from uh, Brad. If you guys want, I could make another video about the one that Brad did uh, in 2019. Uh, this time on Train Men, and they found the exact same conclusion. The group that did, I think, it was up to same thing, up to 45 sets of volume per week, put on way more mass than the group who did 30, uh, and I believe nine or 20 or some shit like that. If you guys want, I could just make another video on the on the Brad study. But it was pretty much the exact same conclusion. Increase your volume, guys. Look at your program. Look at your program, right? And, and and again, make sure you increase your volume relative to your ability to recover. I can't stress that enough. Right? Because if your recovery is trash, your sleep is trash, your your nutrition is trash, your vitamins and mineral supplementation is trash, don't go out there and try to do fucking 10, 20, 30 sets. You, you know, you, you're you just not going to make gains, right? That's just common fucking sense, right? So I don't want to see you guys in my comments section saying, well, you know, you're going to overtrain if you... This is fucking relative, right? But anyway, hope this video helps. I promise to keep it short. Oh, look at that, look at that. I got my stopwatch. It's almost at 10 minutes. So I went over the five-minute goal, but, you know, at least I'm stopping it before 10 minutes. Hope this video helps, guys. Um, don't forget to do the basics, which is like. Don't forget to subscribe. 
comment your question below. Contact information is in the description. The link to the study will also be in the description as well as you know all the other videos I mentioned. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Hit me up for coaching. Peace.